Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 3 to 7. Jesus addressed this parable to the Pharisees and scribes. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and, upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. An age-old tradition, the devotion to Jesus' Sacred Heart places the emphasis around the human center where our emotions, desires, passions, and love dwell. In the Gospels, Jesus' heart is moved with pity for the crowds, and he tells us that he is gentle and humble of heart. Through Jesus' heart, we encounter the fullness of the Gospel the good news of God-saving love poured out for all of us. And as we grow in our understanding and communion with the Lord, we fall ever more deeply in love with Jesus and benefit from that transforming and redemptive relationship in every aspect of our lives. This devotion unites our minds, hearts, and wills into one great act of oblation, a total gift of the self to the one who has first offered himself completely to and for us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.